Okay, so we, uh, again, we're just kind of, we got a lot of our stick equipment. We just kind of here in the garage, got the skag in the garage and stuff. And uh, been messing with the trailer mostly, but before we start loading up the trailer with our stick equipment, we want to do a little bit of maintenance. Last fall we did grease everything, but uh, we're just double checking and touching base. So I don't know if you guys have ever used for the steel equipment. This stuff is expensive though. I want to say it's like 10 or $12. It's like whatever, Super Lube. There we go, Super Lube FS. So anyways, I got the FS. 94R in the vice a little bit holding it. Scout just took the grease plug out on the head and then he's gonna um screw the grease tube down in there. Hold on a second before you do it. I want to see if you can see down in there. You can kind of just let me get a light. Hold on a second. Go ahead and spin it. You can kind of, you can see the gears down in there. They got grease and stuff, but it definitely could have some more. So, anyways, it's gonna it screws right in there, and then start up here. And just squeeze a little bit in there. I didn't really like the way this worked. I had a tube of this last year, and it seemed like you got too much. The tube ended up splitting. I guess I squeezed too much in there. And, uh, anyways, um, and I saw, uh, I want to say, I don't, I forget what, uh, man, I'm stuttering like crazy. A channel, I want to say is Donald's, Donald's or Ronald's or something like that. Um, the guy actually drilled and tapped it and put a grease zerk in there and I was like, oh, that's a good idea. So, anyways, so we're just kind of. I right, don't got to spin it too much. Anyways, you kind of get the idea. And that's uh, yeah, a terrible video. All right, bye.